What's up, guys? Welcome back to LuxCore Studios and our project codename called Nostalgia. Um, I was going to give an update on this one about a uh, like show like how far we've come, like the first re first revision up to the playtest build. Unfortunately, there was some stickiness with Godot, and I don't really know exactly what happened with that. Um, so, yeah, instead, I'm just going to show off what the build that the playtesters got to play and go through a little bit of like the feedback that I got from them. Um, just so you know, kind of how far we've gotten. There we go. Puppies down here. Uh, just so you how far we've gotten, uh, the code base co so far is about 2,700 lines of code, um, over 87 files. Makes me writing about 100 lines a day, which is not very much, but it's doing a lot of thinking up here and doing like marketing stuff like YouTube and stuff like that. Uh, we have four items. We have the Sword of Damocles, Achilles Shield, Poison Ring, and Hermes Boots. Uh, we have a boss with an AoE special ability, and then endless, endless monsters. So yeah, without further ado, uh, let's get into it. So this is a build that we had that the uh, uh, playtesters played on. We're going to show you off some of the uh, the items that we've done, all the things like there. You can see like the leveling up. And we can increase our health by 10% or our damage by 10%. I always choose damage because I'm just that way. Um, already I'm getting kind of trapped in here. Uh, there was the dash ability right there. More damage, more damage, more damage. Um, the dash ability kind of to teleport you a way to get you out of like sticky situations. There's a lot of enemies. Like I didn't realize how, <laughs> how fast I had them spawn. This is crazy. Uh, oh, there's the big attack right there. You could probably hardly see. Ooh. I'm taking some damage. This is unusual. So, there's a go. There's another um, big arrow uh, heavy attack. Um, the heavy attack does like uh, piercing and goes through generally one shots. I think all the little guys so you can see it's very satisfying to use. That's the big boss that I'm attacking. Uh, more damage, more damage. I mean, you can see I'm like the boss does a lot of like meteors um, down the road when I get some like actual uh, uh, artists on the project then I'll be able to uh, uh, like actually show meteor damage and stuff like that or, or oof, oh my goodness I took a huge chunk of damage right there trying to kill the boss I didn't realize I was so low on health on this one okay so there's a chest that just dropped the chest has some items I'm kind of trying to show off some of the items that um, that we've made over the last month uh, more damage okay oh you can see like, some of these guys are like teleporting I'm not exactly sure what the bug is okay I died I guess we'll just go ahead and restart. Okay. Get left for it this time. I think, okay, so you, there's some teleporting right there. I don't know exactly why that happens. I think it's something to do with the move and slide, and I need to make sure that the pathfinding just works better. Uh, oh, there you go. There, see how fast those guys moved around? It's because something with the physics engine um, and the move slide causes them to, to uh, like, just move faster when they're sliding against each other. Um, kind of like a pinch in Rocket League. More damage, more damage. These guys seem a little faster uh, already. Man, how did, like, how did any of my playtesters, I think the highest, and you can see the enemies killed in the top left-hand corner. I don't know how the highest, oh my goodness, I'm going to die. Already at 28% health, and I'm starting to get a huge amount of lag. Oh dear, this was the performance issues that my playtesters told me. That doesn't seem like that many, um that many so I'm not sure exactly why it's like showing so much it's probably like the pathfinding or like trying to get to the player stuck on each other and stuck on bosses so that's something I'm definitely need to work on um, for this next month just to make sure because if I'm going to have some sort of like endless enemies demo I definitely need uh, I need people to uh, I definitely need uh, it to be performed and can have thousands, potentially thousands of enemies on the screen. I've, I've looked up, okay, so finally, maybe I can get an, an item this time. Okay, so I can either get the Sword of Damocles or the uh, King Hermes Boots. Um, you can see what they do, the Sword of Damocles is probably the most powerful one because it spawns an extra arrow and kind of gives you a little bit of an AoE from distance. You can see how quickly I'm mowing through them now. 27% health. Okay, I chose health. Wow. Um... They're still, these guys are still moving pretty fast. All right, so you can see I have 300 and like something, 338. Oh my goodness. 
uh, 360. So my uh, playtesters, I think it got 280 was the highest I heard. You see, all right, I'm going to try and kill a boss. Boss goes, it seems to go down a lot easy, easier than the uh, the package, like a bunch of enemies. Oh gosh, sitting on 0% health. Don't know how that's possible. And like, I'm trying to get to that chest so I can show you like when two items kind of go together and so we can see like how they, um, uh, like this, the, like a, a item that works with another item. I really want to get synergistic items going. I died again. I guess we're going to just have to like restart. So I guess we'll just hit restart again. All right. Oh my god, they're already they're already moving so fast. And there's a, there's definitely a bug where oh my gosh, they're fast. <laughs> I died so fast. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> okay. Uh All right, let's try this again. Oh my gosh, they're, oh my, they're faster. Oh, there's no way I'm going to survive this. And my big arrow didn't do very much damage to him. Oh dear. Oh, you know what? I think I figured out what it is. Oh, I know what it is. So the issue is, is that as the uh, game, like, as the levels... <laughs> Uh, continue like as you like go in waves I mult give a speed multiplier a health multiplier and a damage multiplier to every single one of the uh, enemies that are spawning so when you click restart that's not reset and so <laughs> they're getting that multiplier uh, at the beginning when you are not very powerful so I'm, I definitely need to fix that for next next play test okay um, let's see if I can get another clip. I'm gonna see if I can find another clip that um let's see if I can find another clip that will show like different items. You saw the Sword of Damocles. Um you saw the Sword of Damocles that you know splits off the arrows going into your side. Let's see if I can get the um all right, here we go. So I'm gonna go for a different one. Um we have three other items in the game. We have Hermes boots, uh Achilles Shield, and um Poison Ring. Um We'll see how those go. More damage, more damage, more damage. I think I might get rid of the rocks that sit there. They just seem to add issues to pathfinding and don't seem to add a lot of gameplay. And get more damage. Let's wait for the boss. Boss needs to show up soon because I'm already getting overrun and I need some... Uh, weapons. I might, maybe I should do it like a lower amount of enemies spawning in the first little bit until you get your first item. That might be a good way to do this. Oof. Lucky there. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay, gotta get back to the. Uh... Oh no, I took so much damage. Oh, now we're having some. Oh. Huge lag spikes. Don't know why. Gotta figure that out. I still, I think it's, I think it's a movement quest. Okay, getting some health back. Use my heavy arrow. Why am I not using my heavy arrow? Okay, so we have Achilles Shield. Now, I would have normally chosen the Sword of Damocles here just to get rid of it. Achilles Shield, like, attaches an aura around the player and, like, it does damage on a tick to anybody within that thing. Unfortunately, as you can see, started lagging and um, stuff like that. Clearly, clearly, I need to work on performance this month. If it's not doing well on my high-end machine, I can only imagine what it's doing on my friend's low-end machines. All right. So I'll go on to the next one. Maybe, maybe I can show off uh, the poison ring and uh, Hermes boots. Okay, here we go. You guys are going to get very used to seeing the. Uh, oh, so there, I I did not realize I could do that. Um, I was able to dash through people, so it kind of I guess gives you a little bit of invulnerability. I don't actually like ticket as invulnerability. It's more of like 
um, I just teleport the player from one position to like 200 pixels or two or 250 pixels down. Um, and then I, uh, and then I add a couple, uh, 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 opacity scenes to it. Okay. All right. There's a boss. You can always tell the boss is coming because the AOE starts happening. The AOE targets the player. Um, in the future, like one of the, we need going to do some more boss mechanics. Um, yeah, you can see the AOE, like, uh, players going after him. Come on, kill the boss already. Come on, Jordan. Stop killing all the, you're not, you're not doing yourself any favors. So you are already level 10 and have killed almost two. There we go. All right. Ooh, decision time. Oh, I increased health. Am I learning, or is that a foolish thing to do? Okay, what do we got? So we have Sword of Damocles. Again, I always pick the Sword of Damocles first. We got Hermes Boots. Hermes Boots, when you, when you dash, it does an AoE that will damage anybody inside of it. Also, um, uh, one of the things I'm working, there you go. So I exploded three at a time that time. It will do more. Um, I think I need to make the AoE a little bit bigger. Just to make it like, like feel better. Okay, so it seems like I'm doing better this time. I'm already killing 300, and I'm at 76 percent health, which is much better than normal. So maybe the um, Hermes boots is not as bad as I thought, though. The guys are like enemies are getting a lot faster, and that's problematic. I thought I had a poison ring. Uh, oh no. I just dodged right into those, or dashed right into those guys. Boy. Okay. Should be talking more. I'm trying to kill that boss. I must not have shown the poison ring. The poison ring, like, attaches a, a dot that, um, like, does damage. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, so there was one of the bugs like where they just appeared out of nowhere to kill me because he's either moving so fast or something happened. So I'm not exactly sure what. So what's next? Well, um, I decided to do this uh, kind of, I guess, this, my style of dev, exactly, I don't know exactly what to call it, is less um, sprint and agile based, is more of like a waterfall approach where I get things done and then at the end of a month I like look back and say, okay, what went wrong, what went right, how did I do, and all that type of thing. Um, I'm pretty proud of the progress that we made in the game so far. Uh, going from basically, well, it was nothing, uh, to having the game runnable, being able to be played, packaged, and handed off to a couple friends and family and people who wanted to play test. Um, and that, if you really want to play test, please uh, join the Discord. It's linked below. Uh, that will give you an opportunity to go and play the October play test. What I need to get done for the November play test is I need a lot more items. Um, uh, I have a I have a plan in place to do 20 items over the month of November to add those into the database, we'll call it, uh, and make the game um, that much more dynamic instead of having the same four over and over and over again. Uh, I'm going to make sure that the bosses have more mechanics. Right now they just do kind of a random um, meteor shower around the player, just like drop, 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 drop. Um, so I want to have like a little bit more scripted options, um, a little more, more boss abilities. Wondering if I can figure out a way to implement boss abilities um, with the items that I have, and maybe there's a way that I can, um, like you can steal items from bosses. It's a future thing, but if I can maintain those two uh, uh, things happening, um, like like if I can get the system so it is not character dependent, but rather um, like body dependent or entity dependent, maybe. Um, I can think I can make it so that uh, I can reuse a lot of the same spells and abilities and items um, on the boss and the player. Uh, clearly, like one of the biggest things is like the performance issues. I don't know exactly what's going on with that. I'm, I'm going to say that the issue is, uh, I'm going to say that the issue is 
the algorithm to determine where the per, the uh, enemy is supposed to move. And when there you have, let's say, two or three hundred, all in roughly the same place trying to move, you're going to have issues. Um, that also ex would explain like the speeding by once went few few. Um, that would help explain that. Um, I, I like to get to a point where I can have a thousand enemies on screen and there's not too many jitters. Uh, that's a high bar and it's going to be difficult to achieve. Um, I've already done this, but I'm planning on adding health packs to the game so enemies will have a random chance of dropping um, a health pack, which will give you some of your health back. That will help out a lot, I think, for people continue like extending people and um, yeah. Oh, let's see what else. Adding ranged enemies, um, enemies that'll sit back and like shoot arrows at you. Uh, and then lastly, um, start getting to the actual art of the game, like getting an artist, starting to make some of the character art and going from there. That's kind of the plan. That's my road roadmap for, uh, for, for the month of November. If you want to see like see what I have planned, I do link in my Discord like just my November roadmap, um, all my tasks and stuff, and they get added and updated accordingly. And uh, but yeah, if you're interested, please like and subscribe for future updates. Uh, I guess ring the notification bell. I don't know exactly what that does. Um, join the Discord because that's mostly where I hang out in. Um, we have some discussions about like what games mean, but mostly it's just a place for like like-minded people to kind of start like figuring out how the game works and stuff like that. Uh, Like-minded people to get to listen to the game and see how it works. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, the test went really well and I'm excited for to show off more in the future. See ya.